Hey guys, it's Mark Doman, the Longhorn Engineer, and here's an update on the pinball machine reset vector. So you see, the uh, pinball machine has a lot of work done on the play field. So there's a right ramp, the spinner, the drop targets are working, there's a, uh, a ball lock right there, and a ball lock up there underneath the ramp. And as you can tell, the uh, head unit looks different now. I installed some speakers behind this mesh right here. Um, this is where the dot matrix display will go when it's done. And this works differently now. See the scroll wheels are now attached to the door instead of uh, being attached to the back. And in here, you can see all the circuitry that makes everything work. So there's the propeller, and it has two SD cards. One has sound, which is labeled S, and one has music, which is labeled M. This is the input driver, and there's the solenoid controller. So here's a little demo of the machine running. The first thing that the machine's going to do is uh, reset the play field. So it's going to make sure there's no balls in the ball locks. Um, it's going to make sure that the scroll wheels are zeroed out. As you can tell, player one's scroll wheel is set to one. And it will also raise these drop targets to make sure that they're all lined up. Now, start the music. And to add your credits, there's a switch down here. Start the button, and I'll pick the ball out. As you can tell, player four score just keeps going up, and player three score goes up when a target is hit. Player 4 score is just representing when the kernel is not playing a uh, sound effect, like that. And so player 3 is score is being added when the kernel is actually is playing a sound effect. That's just useful for debugging. See, that ball lock's not even hooked up yet, so I'm going to manually kick it out. It's got some spots where the ball still gets stuck and tends to bounce around.
actually does say game over when you're done.